Okay, so today I'm going to give it a shot and replace my thermistors in my SV650 first gen. So, the goal is around about 240 ohms. Um, so, what I'm doing is I'm going to get two 500 ohm resistors, put them in parallel. So, 500 divided by 2 because it'll flow both ways. It's 250 ohms. If you only can get 100 resistors, 100 then goes through another 100, therefore you got 200 ohms of resistance. Same as like subwoofers and stuff like that. Exactly the same principle. So, for 500 ohm resist, uh, thermistors, NTC, I think that's normally thermostically closed. I think that's what it stands for. And they're dollar 75 each from JCAR. So I'm just going to go ahead and wire them together. Okay, so as you can see now, I've got my thermistors wired in parallel. So this will be for high and low. And now I'm going to desolder these guys off. Okay, so I've got them all desoldered off their cradle. So now I'll attach the uh, the new thermistors to the rail. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. Come on, camera. So that one side of the thermistors has been welded to the cradle, and the other two sides are free to be soldered to these two wires. Okay, so there's the finished product. Um, I'll go and chuck it in some fuel and see if, or you might even chuck it in some water and see if it works. All right, let's try it out. Okay, so I've got it. I've got my. So this is in a, a cup of cold water. It's really cold, just to simulate fuel. Because playing with fuel is da dangerous. Okay, so um, goes out, cruising along. Oh, come down here and lift the first set out. This might take a minute because it is really cold. I checked the measurements before and it was 300 ohms when they were uh, open, I believe, and 3,000 kilo ohms when they were shut. So the f my first light should start flashing shortly. Just blew on it a little bit just to blow off any cold water. Get rid of the cup altogether. So both the misses are now hanging in the breeze. Here's the cup. I'm just buying on just to get a bit of cold water off them. There we go. So it works. Fix your fuel tank problems for about seven bucks at Jacob. Thanks for everyone who uh, pitched in and helped me figure this out. And for that other YouTube video that sort of shed a light on the subject. Cool, man.